I don't know if uh, how like to get this through enough. This game is not going to be like old Armored Cores. I've seen some things online already of people saying that it's too casual, that they've dumbed it down, that it's going to be too easy. And look, I can't speak on this from an Armored Core fan perspective, right? I'm only speaking on it from a Dark Souls fan perspective. They're obviously not going to disrespect the franchise by not bringing th elements from the older games up. Let's not lie. From Software was not did not become the developers that we know today because of Armored Core. Of course, there was the hardcore Ar Ar Armored Core fans that were around and playing those games. They made five, of, uh, not just five of them actually, because Armored Core 6 isn't the sixth one. It's like the like 30th one. So there's a fan base and there's people that love them, of course. But it was not taking them to uh you know unforeseen heights if it was that's all they would have kept doing right but what ended up happening is dark souls and demon souls was a phenomenon that changed the gaming landscape as we know it and it was it just so happened to be from this developer from software they figured out that oh the people like this let's give let's give the people what they want let's perfect this formula and what do you know they became world renowned. They're winning Game of the Year awards. They're getting their their awards crashed by some weird uh, 15 year old kid that's like trashing uh, OnlyFans models now. They've really blown up. They made it right. They're world renowned. They're selling millions of copies, making a gazillion dollars every game. They made it. They did it. Okay, and it wasn't because of Armored Core. It's because of Dark Souls and and Bloodborne and and Elden Ring and I would love to believe Sekiro, but probably not as much. Obviously that success is going to translate heavily into what this game is so it's gonna feel different it's going to appeal to a larger audience because they have a larger audience now okay i'm sorry that it's not some weird niche game that's impossibly difficult to understand <laughs> like you want it to be but they weren't really doing great when they're making games like that okay they figured out that it's good to make a challenging skill-based experience, but also it's good to make it a little bit of accessible. It's easy to jump in, but difficult to master, right? And that's what I'm seeing right here. And I'm hearing all sorts of things like, you know, the lock-on is going to be breaking the game and stuff like that. And I'm just not buying it. It's supposed to dramatically decrease your accuracy at long ranges. So at the same time, you're supposed to be using the not hard lock on for these long range weapons so you can be landing more shots so it's going to be skill based the aiming and whatnot but people seem to be just like complain 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 it's not the same as my old armor core i'm going to complain about it it's for newbies it's for casuals if that if that's the case man then just go play armored core 5 till the end of time you know that game still exists go pop out the playstation 3 go have fun right uh go play armored core 4 all those other games still exist i really cannot stand when a uh, community cannot just let go of the past a little bit. It's been over a decade, if I'm not mistaken, since their last Armored Core. Things need to change a little bit. It needs to become a little bit more accessible. Casuals need to be able to kind of jump in. Now, you can you can rake me over the coals for that. You could say, you know, oh, that's going to ruin my game series, whatever. In my personal opinion, and I think From Software would probably agree with me, it's still going to be a difficult skill-based experience while still being fun for most people that jump into it. If you hate that, then I don't know, man. I'm sorry that you don't want your game series to grow and have a larger base. And it seems like that's kind of what it is almost, right? Some of these like really hardcore From Software fans, they're almost like, this is mine. This is my precious little thing. And now other people are getting into it. I don't want that. I want it to be this obscure, obscure thing that's really hard to enjoy and only I like it. It's like, don't you want these games to be enjoyed by more people? Like when Elden Ring came out, for example. Even though Elden Ring isn't my favorite From Software game, I loved being able to talk to people about that game that I normally wouldn't be able to talk to Souls games about. It, it was really refreshing to be like, wow, though it's not my favorite and it kind of normied up the Dark Souls formula a little bit and I could have got all butthurt about that, I took the good with it and being like, nah, you know what? This, this made From Software massive and it got this style of game out to millions of more people than any of their other games and that'll that'll bring a lot of people back to some of the games that i love the most i saw it as a net positive right but i'm seeing a lot of this negativity no it's going to change my precious game series no we don't need all these normies 
And I just think that's such a negative thing, man. 